What's up, Buttercup? Uh, I loved watching your trip to Fanex. I am super jealous, and I really, really, really want to go with you sometime. Maybe next year it will coincide with my fall break, and I could come up and do it with you. That'd be so cool. Um, so I'm going to do a video in two parts today. First, it is starting to feel like fall here. Weather's cooling down. The wind has kicked up, which is part of fall here. And uh, it's just it's lovely. Today was a perfect little fall day. So I thought I'd show you uh, the craft project I've been working on because it's fall. A few years ago, my mom and I both decorated um, these jack o lanterns This was my mom's from a few years ago. Aren't they fun? And then you put a light in them and uh, they're just cool. Hers is very colorful and nice. This is mine from a few years ago. It's all black Sharpie in different patterns and I loved doing it. It's just relaxing. You can watch TV or listen to something and make a fun, you know, Halloween decoration. So, uh, Last weekend I saw some of those same kind of jack-o'-lanterns in the store and so I picked two up. My mom hasn't started hers yet, but here is mine for this year. Um, I'm oh, obviously only half done, but uh, I decided to go colorful this time. And I like the scary face. Can you see? I've got spiders on there, little jack-o'-lantern faces. So uh, it's just a lot of fun to do. The other thing I wanted to talk about was that I went and saw the Downton Abbey movie today. Um, I don't know if you are a fan of Downton Abbey. If you are not, you should watch the series and then go see the movie. Um, I loved the show, the, the series when it was on. I think it was six seasons and it ended a couple of years ago. Um, just great characters, a beautifully, beautifully filmed show, great music, fun stories, uh, very dramatic and sucks you in. So uh, when I heard the movies coming out, I really wanted to see it. I wasn't able to go opening weekend, so I went tonight and it was, it was great. It just filled all of those like fan needs. Um, good things happen to some of the characters, but there's plenty of drama as well. There's an arrest and just some exciting things that happen. But thankfully, everything ends up okay. We were it was partway through the movie, and my mom was like, "Is someone gonna die?" And I just was like panicked for the next like half an hour, worrying that one of the characters would die. But nobody did. Uh, there were it was very nicely acted. Um, lots of fun like shenanigans and dr interesting drama. You got to see all the characters that you missed and all of the locations. Oh my gosh, I really want to go there. Um, and just the beautiful costumes and music and like some really stunning um, camera work. And yeah, I just, I really, really, really liked it. However, I don't think that anybody who wasn't a fan of the TV series would enjoy this show, which made it all the more surprising. There was a group of like four teenagers who came in a few minutes after the movie started. And I'm like, oh, they're theater hopping and they didn't realize they came into this movie, they'll leave in a few minutes. They stay the whole time. They seem to enjoy it. <laughs> I guess you never know who Down Abbey fans are. So, yeah, I really recommend it. If you liked the TV show, please go see it. If you did not like the TV show, uh, I don't know. I don't know that you'd be following who the characters are. Even me as a fan, but not having seen it or really thought about it for several years, I was having a hard time remembering you know, who's who and how are they connected and they don't really explain that. So I've had a nice weekend, lots of lovely fall things going on. I hope you're having a good week and bye-bye buttercup.